Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from MindfulMarketplace.com. And in this uh, continuation of the uh, series on using Circle.so to build your community, uh, Circle, let me see if I can show it to you here. This is what we're using now to build the community portion of our Mindful Marketplace platform. Uh, and as promised, I'm going to be documenting and describing and basically showing uh, you know, the world or whoever wants to watch, which is not the world, but a small, very small slice of the world, uh, what we're doing to facilitate that. So a lot of this I'm learning on the fly. And I think the absolute best way of showing some of this stuff is actually as, um, you know, kind of going through it. So, so far, what I'm doing is I'm taking this course here. We have a lot of courses on our platform. Um, this is the Podia piece of our platform. We also teach on Pathright. So, you know, there's a lot of content here. And essentially the way I'm segmenting this is anyone who signs up for a course on partners.mindfulmarketplace.com will have a corresponding community or cohort in our uh, circle or in the community you know, portion of our platform, right? The, uh, you know, the interactivity, the ability to create profiles. And, uh, you know, in this case, it's just me and a couple of folks on our side, but you can see, you know, everyone will have the ability to create a, you know, entire platform with all the things that they're, excuse me, I, maybe I misspoke there. Everyone will be able to create a profile on our platform with the ability to promote their own stuff, you know, promote their own URLs. You can actually use this in some cool and creative ways to build a marketplace. I'm going to show you how we're doing that so that members can sell services. As a matter of fact, if you are selling services or products to the mindfulness space or into that space, and you'd like to have a profile and your products being promoted on our platform, let me know. And I can discuss that with you as well. If you have courses for sale, all that good stuff you can do, again, by dint of incorporating a circle uh, community into your, uh, you know, into your platform. But in this case, um, you know, I'm moving these courses here, the launch it courses into a corresponding, uh, uh, you know, space here on our platform, right? So you can see here, this is where all the, uh, you know, the videos and the PDFs and all that stuff, all that's going to live here on our circle. And it'll be a private uh, community just for folks who've purchased this particular course, right? Someone's texting me with some degree of urgency, as I'm sure you can hear. Um, hold on for one second as I turn that off. That was pretty annoying. Actually, that was not a text. That was my phone backfiring on me in the corner. All right. So, but what I want to show you here that I think is really interesting is some of the courses on our platform, right? Both on our Podia platform as well as on our Pathright community are not taught by me. And, you know, I don't necessarily, um, you know, want the content that. You know, I don't want people who are buying this to see some of the other courses in our community by default because they're not courses that are relevant to entrepreneurialism. Some of these are for, you know, you can see here, empaths only. This is like for more psychological health and well-being taught by somebody else on our platform, which we're also going to be, she's going to be able to incorporate that into our uh, community. So here is what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to show you how you can set things to be only visible to the select audience that you want actually to see that particular content. So hide from logged out users. If someone stops on our site, let's say to buy an entrepreneurial course, do I want them to see the empaths only course? No, I don't actually. So I would set that make this a private space. Members will be, have to be invited by you. Admins can access all private spaces. Yeah, let's do that. Hide space from non-members. So in this case, you know, if someone's not a member, they can't even see, right? They can't even see that course. So even 
so right now, the way this is set using these toggles, nobody can see this unless they're invited. I think that's at least my understanding of how this is going to look. And I'll, you can change the, the, you know, the way it visually appears as well. And yeah, prevent members from, you know, all these things that you can set on the topic level. So on the course level is really quite refined and you know super sweet right so you can really find offer fine gate grain control over what folks can actually see and interact with and access and all those things again by dint of some really super simple settings in each respective space and topic within a space okay so uh that's it for right now i'm gonna and again this course will be is already being taught by somebody in our in our you know universe but it's not being taught by me and i don't want to confuse my own community with courses that are related more to you know psychology or spiritual growth or that sort of thing until the platform really gets built out a lot more than it is now all right, I want to keep it focused and keep folks only seeing the content that I think is actually going to be most persuasive to join our platform. All right, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. And if you want to try Circle, uh, they have a 14-day trial. I actually signed up that way myself. I'm recording this at the very end of August, and I, I just actually paid for it. Uh, after my trial ended yesterday. So, you know, this is all pretty new to me, but I'm really excited about this platform and really excited to be using it on Mindful Marketplace. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.